All right, my friends. Just finished packing up my meals for the week. Chicken, rice, broccoli, and beans. The same thing we have every day. Chicken, beans, rice, broccoli, onions, and three pieces of cheese. This is in San Jose, California right now, December 2nd, 2014. Unbelievable, the weather right now. I want you guys to look at my veins really quick. See how they're really small, really skinny? I want you to put your arms up in the air. Just raise them above your head. I'm gonna show you a really cool trick of gravity. Look, I look like I don't. I've never lifted in my life. And that's true. All right, so now watch. After you raise it up for about 20 seconds, drop it. Pay attention. As you know already, I have no pump. But what's happening is the blood that's trying to reach my heart. Oh, headband fell. The blood that's trying to reach my heart, traveling through my veins, is fighting the force of gravity now. So what happens? My veins are pressed up against my skin. You can actually see them protruding out now. You see that? Try it yourself. Look at that. Just because of gravity. That's it. I didn't do anything different. You guys saw it. Look. The video's only a minute. 15 seconds. I did nothing different. My hand. All I did was raise it and lower it. Try it yourself. Peace. Once you bring something into the world, it will remain at that frequency for all of time. What do I mean by this? Once you create something, it is set in its ways until it will either break or degrade over a long period of time. So, whether it be a movie, a song, a drawing, a painting, and you show someone else, they might not like it, but the only reason they don't is because they don't vibrate at that frequency. So, like, you know when a movie comes out and a bunch of people love it, but a bunch of people don't love it? The people that don't love it just literally are not on the thought patterns are not on the circuits if you will of whatever the movie is same thing with music the songs themselves are not going to change the movie's not going to change we need to align ourselves we need to literally align ourselves with the meat with the media the medium of whatever information we're trying to obtain so if you're trying to watch a movie you need to align yourself with that type of movie, whether it be comedy, action, horror. Same thing with music. You need to align yourself, with, try to align your thoughts and who you are and your feelings towards the song. Instead of judging it subjectively, look at the song as it is and try to align yourself to it. Same thing with foods when you're trying a new food. Don't go into eating any new food with the thought, I'm going to hate this food, it's going to be terrible. Try to align yourself with it. Look at the food. Be like, okay, whatever you're going to bring to me, I'm going to accept you and try to understand all of you as a whole. That's it. Two quick thoughts before I go to work. It's been raining here in San Jose, California. All week, and today's Thursday. December 3rd or 4th? 4th, I believe. Anyway, two thoughts. There should be an app that uh, just like Twitter except it allows you to record your voice leave like a voice uh, memo for anyone and then anyone could just listen to anything you want to say and there, sh there should be no limit on how long it is it could be five seconds ten seconds you just want to say a comment or if you want to say a whole monologue 
and then you could have followers and they could just listen to you and your updates and just random thoughts in your head. I think that would be just as popular as Twitter. Number one, and that's and number two, YouTube. For the love of God, please create some kind of app or somebody, please create an app where when I make a video, when anyone records a video on their phone, it automatically gets sent into a bucket of sort of sorts. Imagine a an application that's just like a blank screen, and then each video you make throughout the day fills up this bucket, and it's ready to go to YouTube, and you just have to, you can just rearrange them, you can just drag the videos around, you can edit them right there really quick, all in one screen, one user interface, and they can be uploaded to YouTube. You can have it set that as soon as I'm done recording the video, I can just click upload, and it'll do it in the background, not taking over the entire phone's processing. I should be able to run di different applications while the video is being uploaded in the background, if I so choose. Okay, so those are the two apps, two things, two thoughts I wanted to talk about, really quick. I hope you guys have a good day. I gotta go to work. Peace. These are the two originals, Jennifer and Petrie. Very rare is it that I get them both right next to each other eating while no one else bothers them. The lighting on the iPhone 5 is atrocious. I apologize. But those are the two. That's right. Jennifer on the left, Petrie on the right. Constantly eating. <laughs> yeah, buddy. My little buddy. This is the way I see it. You have two options in life. You either succumb to the force of gravity and fall, or you fight against it and you rise. The choice is yours. You know what I just thought about? Winter has pretty much always been my favorite season, and, I'm, and I was never really sure why, versus summer. And here's what I have to say, here's one of the reasons that just came uh, clearly into my mind. In chemistry, when you decrease the temperature of a substance, the bonds become tighter, all the atoms become tighter, everything moves close together, closer together, together. So, if you think about winter, it gets colder out, right? So you're forced to move closer to everybody that you love and that you care about. And I feel like there's more intimate relationships in the winter time, in the cold time, like when you wear your sweaters and hoodies and, you know, the, all the winter type clothing, you have this intimate connection with everyone. And then in the summertime, which is the opposite, when you heat something up, it dissipates. It, 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 it goes from staying in one area to spreading out over a wide surface area, just like I could relate that to relationships you have summer flings you know um just people you meet in the summer summer friendships and then you go on and that's it you just kind of dissipate away from one another that's just an interesting way to think about the two two dichotomies of seasons in christmas we become together because you cool things cool down and in summer you separate you just go everywhere and meet everyone and do everything because it's summertime and heat expands just a thought. Look what I am driving through right now. This is unbelievable. California, what's going on? Guys, we're in San Francisco and there's a neuron here. A neuron, literally. A brain cell. There's the soma and you see the dendrites branching off here and then there's uh, the axon and then you can see the axon terminal down here. Neurotransmitters get sent all the way from the soma down the axon and they're released into the synaptic space, which is at the edge of the axon terminal. And then when that ends, when it goes into the space, it connects to another neuron's dendrites, which are those little things right there. And depending on the shape of the molecule and all of that, it will either be accepted or denied and or destroyed and reuptake, re-sucked back into the previous axon. This wasn't, this was not here earlier in 2014, but now it is, so I don't know what to say except prepare yourselves. Adapt with the positive, resist against the negative.